Welcome back to the Friday show everyone. Well this time of year as the weather cools down, your family heads indoors, you can bet one of the season's most annoying pests is coming in with you. And joining us today from Action Pest Control is Keith Smith. It's great morning. to have you here with us. Thank you. It's so funny too because you know as I was thinking about this interview this morning, I started to see all kinds of flies. Unfortunately, I hate to admit that, you know, around the house, but they are, but they're there, and a lot of people having problems with this. You see them a lot this time of the year. Uh, fruit flies typically come in with fruit you you bring in from the store. That's why you want to make sure when you're shopping that you examine grapes, apples, anything you bring in. Just make sure they don't have a puncture mark in them, because fruit fry, flies like to lay their eggs in those. Really? Um, house flies are, are are common this time of year also. They're like everything else, they're trying to get out of the cold, so it, they're a pretty common pest to see. Now, the fruit flies obviously with the fruit, but what about the house flies? Is there anything very specific that could be happening in your home, outside of your home, that could be bringing these in? Well, surprisingly enough, most house flies that enter, enter a structure don't fly in, they walk in. Uh, so it's pretty important this time of year, especially to, um, to seal around doors and windows. And you also want to make sure you're using a screen wire. Usually a 16 gauge will, will handle both flies, but they're usually coming from the outside. What about, um, you know, maybe anybody next door to you that might have anything out in the backyard or possibly you might be, have something in the backyard you might not think is a problem, but it could be attracting these flies. Is that something that could occur as well? The house fly is, is reproducing in manure, rotting meat, rotting organic material. So anything that around, around a structure uh, if you have pets around the structure, they can cause some problems. Okay, so make sure to clean up the yard yeah. <laughs> then, in other words. So what about uh, the danger potential here? I mean, are these flies going to bring in a lot of disease? Is it something that we really need to be thinking about? Well, fruit flies have the potential of spreading disease, but the, the, the bigger potential is with the, with the, with the house flies. They carry uh, E. coli, uh, cholera, dysentery, uh, diarrhea, and they have just they, ha they have the whole gamut. So. Mm -hmm. so something you definitely don't want around. Okay, right. so then the next question is, how do you get rid of them? I mean, it seems like they're always kind of hanging around, really no matter what season it is. Mm -hmm. This season might be particularly bad, but how do you get rid of them for well, good? The, just like the keys to most pests is you want to keep them from coming in. You want to have in a residential structure, you want to make sure that your windows are sealed, you're not leaving doors open. In a commercial structure, that's not uncommon to see actually air doors that keep the flies from coming in. Um, but just sealing around windows, doors, uh, vent holes, weep holes, the common areas to keep them from coming in is, is a good idea. Okay. You know, something else people continue to have trouble with right now are bed bugs. And uh, what's the best defense against those insects? Well, unfortunately, the bed bug problem is not getting any better. It's not a situation where there's a uh, silver, bullet on, silver bullet on the horizon. Um, it continues to be um, heating those, heating the entire structure, maintaining that structure for at least three to four hours. Some new information out there is that you've got to, to control, um, to kill the eggs of bed bugs, you've got to get to 122 degrees. Uh, and hold that for about three hours. 118 will kill the adults, but you got to get the temperature up there pretty good. Mm -hmm. And this is something that you all can do? Oh, yes. yes okay. Yeah. And I'm assuming you probably do a whole house when you do that. Right. There's so many um, uh, uh, bed bugs have an immunity to most chemicals that chemicals is not something we typically use. We may use it in conjunction with the heat treatment. We never use it standalone. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining us Thank here you. today. If you have more questions about bed bugs or flies and how to get rid of them, you can certainly log on to Action pest.com. All right, well coming up next, the clock it is ticking. Only 2 months left to cash in on government tax breaks. 